today on this video we will be doing the come bake with me and do you know what we baking on today guys brownies yay yes and also this is the brownie mix i did use everything i will use in this video i will be putting in the description below and also guys don't forget like comment and subscribe and let's get to 15 and 20k subscribers so y'all can win four giveaways or more the next thing i will be using this video is vegetable oil and i will be using two simple things of eggs you can use any kind of eggs or any kind of vegetable oil you want longer matters it says in this direction you will have your two or three cups of vegetable oil water and eggs that's all you really need so let's get to this video and let's get those to preparing but also before we start i need to get some water so give me five quick seconds Also, guys, I know y'all won't be seeing fa my face much in this video. I want y'all to focus on how I make these brownies and how I really do prepare. And also, guys, I feel like if you're going to make anything in fans and food cooking, one more thing I feel like you guys should add. Luckily, I'm remembering stuff on the go. I'm trying to learn, work on remembering things and be less forgetful. But sometimes it can be a bit challenge. You should have your cooking spray so that whenever it's time for you to wash the dishes, not everything will be stuck and you won't have to be scrubbing really hard with a Braille pad. You can just wash off easily right there and that's how I believe. It works It works easier though for me. But let's focus on how I make these brownies and how I, and how I prepare them. As you can see, I'm about to grease the pan up. Another thing y'all can see, I'm about to mix the brownie mix. I already know I made this before. I know what I'm doing, but I like to read the directions, make sure everything runs smoothly because I want y'all to congratulate me and, I, and like I'm quite nervous at doing this because this is my first time cooking on camera because I'm learning how to cook in real life and things of that nature. And it's a bit, it's a bit nervous. It's crazy. So y'all be witnessing everything of what I do outside the camera onto camera. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to get two things of eggs, three things of water, and vegetable oil. See, you preheat oven at 350, which I already have on there. So it's throwing brownie mix, oil, eggs, and water together in a large bowl. About 50 strokes, and grease pan, bake immediately. Guys, I should have got some M&Ms. I will be doing those next time, definitely. So by the time we have some plain old brownies, but it's still good that way. Y'all can see I'm doing the unboxing. Look at all this mix. Doing all this mix, y'all see me doing the mix. See, see what I'm doing. See, get all that mix out. Get all the mix out we need to get out. Look at this pattern mix. You see the pattern mix? You see it? You feeling it? You like it? Cool, I love it though for you though too. So we about to get um this, some eggs. So we about to get some oil. You put a very little bit of this, you don't want to do too much. So watch and follow my lead. This right here is a good amount that you should want with your vegetable oil. To be honest with you, I don't really like using vegetable oil, but that's what they're telling you to use for the um brownies. We can use it for other things. Use that. I know this might be a messy challenge, as you can see. But I'm trying to keep it as good as possible. So, what do we need? We need eggs, two eggs. So, what do we need? Get these eggs cut out of the way because you do not want eggs cracking in your food at all. Water. I think that's more than enough. Mix it up really good. Uh, I'm oven on, so this can be well mixed. It. The eggs over there. Guys, as y'all see it, I'm mixing it. I just want y'all to see more of this, how I'm doing it. Y'all see me getting all the spots with the water, the vegetable oil, my eggs, I'm beating it. Y'all see me doing the thing. Y'all see me doing the thing, y'all 
see it. Y'all like how it's coming out so far? Y'all like it? This looks really pretty though. I will be taking pictures of how it came out and everything. But this is a really easy ingredient to make. Just make sure it's going to mix. After you mix it really well, you want to make sure. I like to get all the bottom pieces. As you can see, I'm trying to get all the bottom pieces. See one bottom piece. I don't think I got it. I'm trying to get all that. Y'all like how this came out? Y'all like this so far? I'm trying to hold it while I can, but I don't want to fall down. Y'all like this? This is a pretty nutty. It definitely does look beautiful to me. Let's see. Let's see this. Let's see how this is going. Y'all see this? Look, see, we about to put on the thing. You see, I'm about to put on my 9 by 13 pan because I've been doing all the mixing I was supposed to do. And I'm about to put this on a good old timer. Take pictures of the aftermath of how it came out in the video. I will be taking pictures of the before and the aftermath of how it comes out after. You know, I like to spread it, I like to spread it like a cake. As you guys can see. Guys, y'all can see the aftermath of how this came out about. See how I used it. See how it was made. See how it was mixed. So I like to spread it out. So I'm going to spread this out really fast. Really good. As y'all can see, like I mixed it really well. I'm about to put this in the oven for a quick 20 to 23 minutes. Y'all can see the oven's on. Everything's on. But also I'll be seeing y'all after this video in 30, in like 20 to 30 some minutes. Love you guys so much.